So on the last episode, I introduced my new skilling goal after getting 99 herb alert, and that is to get 99 crafting for that really awesome cape with unlimited teleports to the bank. And right now I'm working on it, and I'm getting pretty close to 94, but anyways, from all of the bossing that I've done in over the year plus, especially raids, I've gotten so many uh, gems and other crafting supplies that I already have 99 crafting basically banked. Way better than freaking grinding it out through charter ships. So that is awesome. I know whoever has done charter ships, even for like an hour, know that it's pretty annoying. So this is like the luxurious way to get 99 crafting. Just sit here in your bank, cut some gems, make some jewelry, done. So a pretty big change has been made to the Bandos God Sword. Before you needed 65% spec in order to use the attack. But now it's only 50%. So you can actually spec twice with the Bandos God Sword in a row. First is the original only one time. So the Bandos God Sword is considered pretty much by everyone to be a poor man's Warhammer. But now with the you know change in special attack, the Bandos God Sword might be a bit more than just a poor man's Strand Warhammer. But anyways, what I really want to talk about regarding the Bandos God Sword is for Corporal Beast. So the Bandos God Sword is a great asset for uh, Soul and Corporal Beast, specifically for Ultimate Iron Man and Hardcore Iron Man. So for regular Iron Man, the most efficient way to solo corp at the time is to spec the boss with four to five Dragon Warhammer specs followed by four to five Art Light specs. That would reduce the boss's defense to zero and lowering attack and strength by like 20 to 25 percent. And that was good enough. Now if you are an ultimate or hardcore Iron Man, you have to actually do a bit more than just those specs. On top of those Dragon Warhammer specs and Art Light specs, you also need to bring your Bandos God Sword and spec 175 damage worth using a Bandos God Sword in order to lower the Corporal Beast's magic to zero. Now with the Bandos God Sword actually being able to use two specs at the same time though, that will definitely improve the speed in which you can do the ultimate Iron Man and Hardcore Iron Man solo corp method. Alright, just killed corp with a uh, perfect scenario. Basically I landed my Warhammer specs and stuff right off the bat. And I think it took, yeah, according to the time it, it says about 12 minutes. After my own personal test with the newly buffed Hardcore Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man Corp Method and discussing it with my friends who have been testing it themselves you can get up to 5 kills an hour at Corp and uh, one of the biggest benefits is that you don't take damage so you really use very few food and it is in terms of uh, supply efficiency really good for that but I am not going to be doing this method because the normal method that I do do, it's a lot more kills per hour. I usually get anywhere from 6 to 7 kills an hour, so time to use the newly upgraded uh, setup with the Twisted Buckler. God dang, it's so small though. Like, wow. Alright, I'm going to have to go and get my... Uh, oh, Onyx Bolts. Nice. So let's talk about the uh, Twisted Buckler Corporal B. So I've been using... Uh, the rain shields because they're good magic defense so it's great for tanking when you're eating and uh, whatever but uh, anyways when it comes to defensive difference though between the odium and the buckler it's not that much as you can see so the buckler is only two mage bonus more so in terms of you know overall difference when it comes to tanking at corp it's you know nothing crazy but of course if i were to go ranging though the twisted buckler would definitely uh, be significantly better than the Odium War because of that 6 range bonus. So, not the craziest difference with the Twisted Buckler, but definitely uh, feels really nice to use a new item though. Uh, oh, a drop! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, another drop already. Holy shit, that's like almost back to back. Oh man, that would have been the third back to back if I got it, but I was, I'm off by one raid. Pray to the RNG Jesus. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, damn! Dexterous Prayer Scroll, okay. Yeah, of course. I, I, there's no way I was gonna get another unique item, huh? Let me just take this before I, like, accidentally leave it and forget it. That That's fine. I, I'm kind of relieved that it wasn't another unique item so soon. I, I would've, like, my heart can't take it anymore, you know? Too fast. That's nice, though. As usual, I do my price check. It's actually under 60 mil now, wow. Still pretty stable, though. 
Hashtag new meme. Got him. This was the slowest raid today. Oh, a drop! Holy shit! Dude, two drops today. The RNG is back. It's freaking back. But dude, oh. Damn, dude, all these prayer scrolls. I mean, yo, whatever, man. Let the drops fly in, bro. I don't even care, man. If I don't get a, a unique item in the next 100 raids, I don't even care, dude. Just give me those drops. Whatever, man. All right, guys. First crafting level of the grind. I'm now at 94 out of the 99 crafting. And I still have, of course, a shit ton of gems. So it's going to be great. So the next level, I'm just going to be straight up cutting gems and AFK in my bank. So that is a uh, very splendid 825k to the next one so guys i haven't talked about this subject before but i'm sure you guys are aware of the situation with like youtube and how they're just giving you know people this not suitable for most viewers uh, symbol and yeah this symbol just means if you get it you don't have any ads on the video so however many people watch during the time you have this symbol you, they don't see any ads so that means you don't get any revenue from that I'm not like too concerned about the revenue thing it's just really annoying though because I wish there was like a way to figure out what the fuck it is the algorithm is picking up like my guess was for this video is because of the title I said ready for the next skilling goal and maybe they thought skilling was killing or something it's so stupid but yeah that's my best guess but I've been reviewed like three other times and most of them is just like maybe it's the title but honestly I, there's nothing controversial about these videos you know it's just so stupid like I just cannot wait for them to really get their algorithm together and just stop flagging you know videos that obviously have nothing controversial about it. it's just me playing video games and sharing my progress just wanna let you know I'm, I'm also falling into this stupid reviewing bullshit really really annoying Alright guys, I just basically have crafted all of my sapphires that I had so far and uh, that got me all the way to 500k about to 95 so the next thing I'm gonna move on naturally is the emeralds and I have more emeralds than I had sapphires so yeah time to enjoy some even better XP rates Holy shit, wow that's crazy, 66.69 Wow, that's the biggest hit I've ever seen. I almost maxed. Dang, only if it had the boss had a bit more HP, I could have totally probably hit even higher than that, honestly. Granted, does two crystal keys. Mamma mia, bro. Here we go, here we go. Ah, never mind. Rip. Oh well. This is first rate. Oh shit! Three, 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 three! So somebody told me something pretty useful today. So the Varak Armor 4 actually has a 10% chance to double your Amethyst when you're mining. So that effectively increases your XP rate by 10% and also your yield by 10%. And for the longest time, it was just double the chance of mining regular ores by 10% up to Rune if you had like Varak Armor 4. But when Amethyst came out, the mods apparently also coded the effect for Amethyst as well. Alright guys, so the rates is starting to look a lot better than before. 22k at 94 mining. So if anybody is wondering what kind of rates you're going to be getting cutting emeralds, well I'm getting about 155k an hour and this is with like minimal effort. So at the very least, you're going to be seeing rates like this. It's too nice, too freaking nice. Oh, another granite hammer. Okay, that's my second one. Yo, I was surprised to see that this thing's actually what? I was gonna say 500k, but yeah, it's actually been going up. Make that 600k. Interesting. Oh, that was a huge 74. Fuck yeah, that was nice. Decided to bring back the dragon bolts because I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, and I have them in my bank. Okay, let's open up this master clue. Here we go. Okay, well, okay, yeah. 1300 rates though, that's a really nice uh, number to end by though. There we go, just hit 700 Corporal Beast KC. Took forever to, you know, get this next 100 milestone, but why well, get another sigil before 1000? 
or after. People just didn't understand. Oh, spare shield at 709. Alright, cool. Yeah, one of those shitty channels. Dang. Oh, a 75. Hello, Dragon Bolt's coming in. Rune Foe Helm. Alright, just hit 300. Gargoyle Boss KC and uh, 135 on task with the bracelets. Probably like another 170 or something. So, yeah, getting. We're gonna get to like around f almost 500 KC by the time I finish this task. And maybe I'll get the core then. There's a really, I would say, maybe a decent chance. Here we go. Ah, okay. Well, I guess the luck isn't back. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll though. Yeah. I had this master clue saved in my bank for a bit, so let's just go ahead and check it out. Are you kidding me? Alright, alright. So on today's episode, I have reached over 1300 raids. I'll just keep it at 1300 for a nice number. And also, I managed to get two prayer squirrels. So one in Dexterous and another one in the Arcane. So that puts me at 60 items. Oh yeah, man, I'm getting pretty close to the uh, own pet drop rate. I'm only five items off, so it'd be interesting to see if I can actually get the uh, pet within the average amount of uh, drops, because it is one in 65, keep in mind. So may not have made progress into getting a unique item, but just, you know, more progress in overall items in general. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be wrapping up the video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual. If you're new to the channel or the series and you want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know exactly when the next video will drop. But other than that, I hope to see you guys soon, hopefully with another video uh, before 7 days. Take care.